Sustainability combines uh, a lot of issues, economic, uh, social, uh, climate, um, energy. And I think uh, true sustainability actually involves all of these um, issues. It's very important when you create uh, architecture and a building that you're able to look beyond uh, the very close time span and are able to see uh, your architectural building being changed and used uh, many, many years uh, forward. It's our responsibility to react uh, to, the, to the context, whatever uh, the social and economical um, uh, context that you have. So in a way, uh, architecture is political, but I don't think architecture can save the world. Uh, I hope that politics can, uh, but you need to be political when you do architecture. I think architecture is, is uh, extremely powerful. It's, it's actually able to change people's lives in, in some ways. On the other hand, architects uh, are not very powerful people. Architects are in the hands of the, of, uh, of the clients and of the economic uh, situation, um, of the users and the program. Uh, but I think that architects have a responsibility to try to push that as far as they can. I think we as architects uh, need to be able to play a part in, in uh, making new political agendas since we are actually the experts on uh, the physical surroundings which should be able to be or we should be more um, we should be more um, visible in the in the public uh, discussion uh, and I don't think we have been the last um, maybe 20 years and I think it's it, that's very important the main focus of architecture is making um, a spaces for life uh, and spaces for, for hopefully for better living and better living is, is not uh, necessarily only about sustainability. You probably won't be able to see if a house is sustainable. Uh, the sustainability doesn't have um, an, an expression. It's not like in the 70s where you needed to have strange shapes or, uh, or, or use special materials to make a, a sustainable house. You won't be able to see if a house is uh, necessarily sustainable. I think green has been a very emotional buzzword for sustainability. Um, uh, you don't necessarily have a, a sustainable, sustainable building because it's green, uh, but of course it's nice. It's, uh, it's nice for, for good living to have green surroundings, but it's not the most uh, important thing in sustainability. If we discuss housing in the future, I think it's, uh, there's a lot of discussion. And I think the future will move towards a more, um, um, more focus on non-commercial uh, things and also maybe on non-technical things. I think there's been a tendency uh, in the last few years, a very positive tendency to look at other uh, values. I do think that we need both our geology and technology. In the making of Has the Lone we've, Hoops, we've been looking at sustainability from different angles. angles and. Um, I think, uh, well, of course, we looked at the technical part and it's uh, sustainable all the way around. We, 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 we use very little energy and the, the, the materials are very carefully chosen. Um, but what is more important is that we try to make a house that's, uh, that can't be occupied by single users during the day. Uh, it's, uh, it has a stacked program um, and it has a very open uh, program, so you're able to use all the different levels of the house, uh, different users can be there together during the day. So you're actually able to, to use the, the square meters very intensively and by uh, a lot of very different people. Mm. I think that uh, user involvement uh, definitely helps sustainability in getting, in being more genuine, being more um, into the daily life of people. Uh, it's not possible to, to, to buy uh, yourself a kind of sustainable image you have to, to live it. Everything is relative, but I, I think that the average person is able to, if they want to and if they demand it, uh, it's quite easy actually to, to have um, a sustainable house uh, or to move into sustainable housing. Uh, on the other hand, it's very important to understand that it does have some consequences uh, and you, you need to be able to, to, um, 
to take these consequences. Uh, it can be economic or it can be um, in, in the way that you, you need to work a little bit more. Uh, maybe it's not so, com so comfortable uh, and you need to be able to accept that. I don't think the answer is mass production. Uh, but of course there's a possibility of, of producing um, uh, parts of a building uh, that you can later on customize because as, um, you need to be able to adjust um, architecture to the, to the local context.